Okay, uh, today we're talking about um, what to bring for Dezaru. As you know, uh, Dezaru fishing is actually uh, one of those um, really good uh, fishing spots in Malaysia. Okay, besides uh, Rompin and Pulau Sibu and all the, the different places that you know people go for, for big giant billfish or for groupers or for whatever. So, um, for Dezaru, basically people go there to catch mackerel, uh, the Spanish mackerel, also known as the Tingiri or Wahoo. Um, yeah, for bottom fish, probably groupers, uh, edible size groupers. Uh, basically, in Malaysia, everything is edible. Uh, yeah, you can even catch a small grouper and it's edible, big grouper is edible, everything is edible. Um, queenfish, um, diamond trevelis, golden trevelis, uh, cobia, 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 one of uh, those fishes that you can catch, uh, you can find in the Zaru. And probably sometimes you can even catch like those. Uh, hybrid marlins, those, those are juvenile marlins and yeah so Desaru is actually a place where you can catch a lot of a lot of different species of fish so uh, if you are wondering what to bring when you go to Desaru I've got a list of items here that I have which I usually bring for Desaru so um, so as I could target most of the species of fish okay so basically for, for Desaru I'll start off with um, wait, should I start off with the uh, items or should I start off with the uh, rods and reels and the more okay let's go with rods and reels first okay for desaru we have um let's say the bowman tells us oh uh, it's good for bottom fishing bottom fishing is basically fishes that are at the bottom duh and um top fishings are uh, top fishing probably basically are all those pelagic fishes okay but for desaru top fishing not much of like macro uh, not much of like sailfish and all this uh. you might get some if you're lucky but chances are Probably it's quite difficult. Huh? So we'll start with bottom fishing. Okay, for bottom fishing, I like to fish slightly heavier than uh, the regular Singaporean fishermen. Singapore fishermen usually go for um, arching kind of fishing where edging, uh, where you just drop a 1.2 P, 1.2 rod in and you just try to catch a big fish. But I don't really like that because I, I don't want that one fish to get away. So for usually bottom fishing, I always go with 2 to 4. So my 2 to 4 setup is um, this pen battalion rod. It's actually quite a good rod. And it's only, uh, I bought it in Australia for $79. Pen battalion, yeah, 2 to 4 rod. Okay, and what I fixed with the rod is basically my my well loved, I love I love this real pen spin fisher 4005. Okay, it's a bait runner. So um, believe it or not, I use this uh, 4005 to catch shell fish too. Yeah, I use this for sailfish, I use this for mackerel, Spanish mackerel, and I just use it for bottom fishing usually, and to let out live bait. Okay, so uh, for this setup, it's actually not, not a very light setup, but anything anything about probably 0 to 20 kg, yeah, I'm confident I bring it up. Yeah, pen, spin, spin fisher with a pen battalion. Yeah, I like to pair my rods with the brand too. Yeah. So the line I'm using is actually a Sufix 40 pound line with a 60 pound bread. Ah, 60 pound mono leader. Okay, I tie an FG to it. Okay, as you can see, it's already all tied up. Yeah. I use a longer leader because um I used this for sailfish the other time and I the other time I didn't basically didn't catch any sailfish that was in Rompin okay just a 40 pound line with a 60 pound leader it's a normal uh monofilament leader slightly soft okay so as to because if you're using a lighter line you need that bit more stretch so that the line doesn't snap when you're you're pulling up your sailfish so Leader I'm using is basically a short catch leader. It's a quite uh, well priced leader at uh five six five to six dollars. You can get it for hundred meters or fifty meters. Yeah, and it's um it's actually very very soft. It's not the strongest leader around, but um it works uh, for that price. And the reason why I use a two meter long leader is so that um when I'm catching like a sailfish on my forty pound bread. Our 40 pound line it doesn't snap the bread off because uh sailfish the first pull initial pull right is uh, actually quite uh, quite a strong pull yep so i'll be using i'll be using that for my mackerel fishing okay and then for 
light jigging i have a light jigging rod here it's a pa one to three rod it's actually a daiwa southeast asian rod and i use this actually quite often light jigging it's very it's a very light rod it's the daiwa blue backer pe one to three and i pair it off with the daiwa saltis i think i'm sure most of you know what's the daiwa saltis yeah the daiwa saltis is actually a very very good reel very strong reel uh, and and I use a Daiwa j Braid Grand 20 pound line, blue color on it. Okay, actually the color doesn't make any difference. Yeah, most of the time it doesn't make any difference when you're light jigging. Okay, but sometimes, you know, some people say that, oh, you have a white line, cannot see in the water, you have blue line, black line, red line. Yep. Okay, so the light jigging, I use my Daiwa. It's actually a six foot something rod. A six foot six. Six foot six. Yep. Yeah, the, it's very, very. It's not very um, bendy. It's just uh, quite stiff. So I can use this for light jigging. I use this for mackerel. If you want to cast, you can use this for casting too. But you can't get the distance. If you need casting, you should get, you should get a casting rod. Okay. So this is my light jigging rod, the Daiwa Blue Backer with the Daiwa Saltis reel. And for casting, I always go with my sem. Oops. I'm breaking the fan. I'm always going with my seven foot fan. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Pan Battalion Ocean. Eh, no, sorry. Pan Ocean Assassin Rod. Seven foot. This rod, the casting is amazing. Seven, one, two. Take a look. Seven foot one. Yeah, two piece. It's a two piece rod. So you can. Uh, I think I'll just remove that. Yeah, it's a two piece rod. The butt is very, very slick. The rod is very, very light. I actually like this a lot and I paired it, paired it off with my Shimano Stradic SW4000. For this for this reel, I'm using the Tesline PE 1.7 30-pound Tesline. Tesline, uh, Tes, there's no, in Singapore they don't sell Tesline, you have to you order this online at Busted Fishing. So if you want, I, I, I left the link below in the description. So just go to Busted Fishing and then uh, you can order the line there. Tesline is actually really, really very strong line. Yeah, and later I'll show you what leader I use for this. So um, for casting for mackerel and all this, you need actually a really good uh, light braid so you can cast further. Because if you cast further, you cover more water. You cover more water, you have higher chances of catching the fish. All right. Yeah. So uh, I use I use that. Okay, and it pairs really well. The Stradic is uh, relatively light, and it's a uh, quite a strong reel. Yeah, it's by Shimano. Okay, so that is for my. <coughs> Casting setup. Oops. Before the day is done, I'm gonna break all my rods on the ceiling. Okay. And also, um, for my sometimes when I like to do really extremely light jigging, I will use my Saltis Jerk Commander. It's a one piece, six foot, one rod, and then I will pair it either with. Um, with uh, my Shimano Sparrows, okay, this is a it's a new reel actually. I got this for Christmas, so I, I sometimes used to pair it, but it's actually it's quite heavy. It's like the BG is the is the BG for Shimano, okay. But if I'm going to for like more um how do you say uh offshore fishing and somewhere more prestigious, I will use the Exist, and the Exist paired with this uh Jet Commander. It's very, very light. It's the basically the lightest setup that I can ever find for a P2 setup. It's a P2 setup. Yeah, it's so light that I think if you drop it in the water, it'll float. Yeah, but don't try it at home. Okay. Yes. Okay, so that, those are all my setups for Desaru. And basically, um, what, what I'm trying to achieve is, again, I'm trying to achieve... Um, Basically everything. If there's a uh, if there's mackerel out there, I want to catch the mackerel. If there's cobia out there, I want to catch the cobia. If there's groupers at the bottom, I want to catch the groupers. If there's a uh, sailfish, some swimming around, I want to catch the sailfish. Okay, so basically I want to catch everything in in this aru. That's why I got all the setup from light jigging zero uh, PE two, PE one to three, PE two to four. Okay, anything above four, you might not want to bring that because uh, it's basically too big. If you want to cast the sotiga PE five rod in on the boat, uh. It'd be quite tiring uh. and and uh, i didn't tell you that this is super hot when it's uh when it's summertime and basically it's summer all year round it's super hot 
and you need to uh, cast the PE5 throughout the whole day, it will actually tire you off within 10 minutes. Okay, so keep that for your big game fishing. Uh, just bring anything from one to four, and they'll be good. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to bring uh, run through review the items that I bring to the Zaru. Uh, these items you you might agree and you might not agree. If you don't agree, just don't bring it. If you agree, then I'll uh, tell you where to get it from. Okay, so some of my items that I have. Okay, basically I'll bring a set of hooks and. Uh, swivels and all the small mini accessories my pliers two line cutter pliers ring this ring thing <coughs> this uh mini pink squid thing I, basically i don't know all the names for this is rubber six a 70 pound leader when my 60 pound leader on my battalion, let's say um, um, it's frayed or it's snapped, so I'll just change it to this because this one is a slightly more expensive leader and it's better. It's a Sunline monofilament, 70 pound. Not too bad. Yeah. I'll bring a 40 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader and a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. Okay, both by Shimano Oshia. Okay, don't forget the weights I have a bunch of weights I'll run through you some of the weights that I use steel line okay don't forget steel line steel line mackerel have really 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 sharp teeth you forget to bring a steel line you basically be just tying your FGs all over again yep um Dupont line Dupont line basically very 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 super hard uh monofilament lines and usually uh, we use this for bottom fishing so that when, when you tie a paternoster or paternoster, the line comes out like that. So your bait will be out from the line. Okay, if you use a um, if you use a softer line, the bait tends to go down. Yep. So I'll just bring this just in case. And also some uh, sabikis for catching your mackerel bait. Okay, mackerels. They don't usually take prawns or uh, they don't usually take shrimp or, or other small like like baits or squid and all this. So they usually take live bait. Your yeah, chances of catching a macro on live bait is really really high. So we need to catch the live bait, that's the thing. Sabiki. The boatman will usually bring you bring you to catch the uh, mini uh sala, yellowtail scats, um what others? Yellowtail scat, taman. Uh, I'll, I'll just give you the, 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 the name Taman Sela and what's the other one? Kombing, kom, kambing, 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 you know, kambing is sheep. <laughs> kom, kambong, okay, kambong. Kambong is, uh, kambong I think are small bonitas, I think so, bonitas. Uh, Taman's are yellowtail, mackerel, is it? Taman Sela is the yellowtail. Uh, Sela is yellowtail, yellowtail, the small yellowtail fish. And then um, Taman is cat, uh, Sela is cat, Taman is cat. Scared, scared. Yeah. Think so. Yeah. So it just actually the boatman will tell you what to catch. Okay, just bring sabiki. Sabiki are a bit uh, small lines with uh, many many hooks on it, so you can just catch using the many many hooks. Size. Yeah. Don't forget um, your scissors and a container to put your cigarette butts. Okay. So that is uh, the ring. Pre-tied lines. I will usually pre-tie before I go. I'll just show you the lines. Uh, in another video, I'll show you how to tie the pre-tied lines, but not this video. Okay. Lighter. Windproof lighter. Very, very important. Because in case you have cigarette, you don't have lighter, you can at least have more lighters in your container. No. It's actually for burning off for your monofilament lines. Yep. Uh, you don't need night sticks. Don't bring night sticks unless you're fishing at night. Duh. Okay. For jigs. Jigs, I like to use um, medium jigs, not really light jigs, just normal jigs. Okay, this is the uh, Daiwa's uh, slow fall. Okay, with um, with uh, BKK hooks size two, I think. Daiwa, yeah. Okay, small jigs, probably about uh, sixty grams to eighty grams. Yeah, this is sixty. Uh, this is forty grams. Forty, sixty. And this is a uh, major craft 
Okay, deep drop. Spoons. Spoons very, very um, effective for mackerel. Okay, cast the spoons out. Fast retrieve. And you every clinger cast, you will catch something. Trust me. It's either the the coconut trees under the water planted by the fisherman or mackerel or seaweeds. You can catch anything. Okay, but I got a bigger spoon, a 60 gram, a 55 gram and a 40 gram. Okay. Yeah. Oh, for the spoons, uh, these are Helco Twisties. Helco Twisties I bought from Australia. Yeah, they have them in Singapore too. But if you have Helco Twisties, very effective. Micro jigs. Micro jigs, uh, Shimano something. Uh, 50 grams. And I don't know what brand this is. I'm sure you've seen it before. Uh, this color. Okay, something which glows where the miracle can see and something shiny, something that just entices the fish. Float, just in case. Uh, if you don't want float, you don't like float, bring a balloon. Okay, but usually for macro fishing, we go we go down a little bit, we go deeper. I'll teach you how to do a macro setup in a while. Okay, and for casting, if you are a casting junkie, yeah, if you like uh, casting instead of jigging, you can try uh, bringing your pintails. Call this the pintail, 40 gram Jackson pintails. Okay, these are really, really good. As you can see, the, the bites on it. This has caught like countless amount of thingiris before. Look at the bites. Awesome. Okay, change the hook. If you don't want to change the hook, anyway, uh, Jackson Rose comes without hook, so you need to change the hook anyway. Okay, what I, I previously used um, decoy hooks, but I changed it to BKK hooks. I don't know why I changed it to BKK hooks. It's slightly thicker, but I uh, just felt like changing it. Yeah. Um, Zurek. Zurek Lewis. Quite, uh, I never used this before, basically, so I, I can't tell you how good it is. Um, I did change the hook, came together, like, everything is preset. Another Jackson Pintail, 40 grams. This color, brand new. I'm going to use this in my next trip. I changed it to BKK hooks. Hopefully it catches something. And one more, what, what load is this? I think it's um, So Run Heavy. So Run Heavy lures. Yeah, also 40 grams. Pintail. Uh, the hooks are original. Came together. Yeah, so... That's it. And just one... Uh, squid lure just in case the boatman decides hey down here there's squid here then you can just drop there's a helmet for this squid a 60 gram helmet so instead of putting a weight above they have the 60 gram helmet to help it sink further okay if the water is not uh too choppy you can just drop it in directly yep and this is my all the equipment that i bring for weights i'm not bringing all actually i'm just uh showing you what to bring but these are the the equipment that i'll bring Okay, so for weights, uh, this is actually unnecessary, so um, don't need to bring this. This is actually uh, non-snagging weights, where if you, you hit against the side, okay, the side will come up, and then you release the weight. But I don't think there's much snagging in Desaru, no. no. So Desaru is actually uh, open sea, and the places that you jig are really quite, quite nice and beautiful. Okay, size uh, 6 weights. 6 weights, this one you'll use a lot. Size 8 weights. And for the more choppy bowmen that relax to bring you the choppy areas, the size 10 weights. Okay, usually size 6 will do. 6 or lesser. Sometimes you go down to size 5, size 4. But uh, if you're doing a PE 1 to 3, 20 pound line, 30 pound line, size 6 will be just nice for, every, for really most applications. Okay, for mackerel. Okay, get running sinkers, size 4, 5, 6, running sinkers. I like to get either ball or these diamond running sinkers. Yeah, what other kind of running sinkers do I do? Smaller ones, in case the water is really too calm and the ideal situation, you just have to use a small one. Okay, and then, yeah, those different types of running sinkers. So basically, running sinkers for catching a mackerel to attach a live bait. And just uh, teardrop sinkers or bottom sinkers to for your bottom jigging or bottom paternosters. Your drop shots, yeah, drop shots.
all right for hooks what i usually use are hook size three three size three and below or sometimes size four okay uh, all my hooks are mustard hooks this is a mustard ultra point hook okay size three size four oh actually this is size four this is size three and i also go with um demon size four demon hooks size four and once in a while i go down to size two if i'm not really catching much i try to drop the hooks and put a smaller bait so that i can you know get my chances of catching anything else better is i get those uh spotted snappers those um really small fish you know something that i can just throw in my bag and bring back to singapore yeah yeah so basically that is about it for hooks uh swivels uh swivels i don't need no introduction uh small swivels those uh 20 kilo 15 to 20 kilo swivels for hooks uh if you're using circle hook for for mackerel mackerel um bait just a single circle hook will do okay this is how my setup for my mackerel bait yeah oh yeah for and for steel line what i do is i usually use a um, live bait hook live bait hooks basically are thicker so when the fish runs and the mackerel takes the bait and runs it doesn't uh, bend the hook okay so my setup for my mackerel catching is actually a steel line a 30 pound steel line if i can get this out 30 pound steel line double hook and for bottom fishing a simple double paternoster will do using dupont line this uh, Dupont, 40 pound Dupont line, super stiff, super no memory, and super tough, and super cheap. There, double paternoster for my bottom fishing. I use two circle hooks so that I can just leave it there and then the fish will hook itself. Yeah, so if you are lazy, if you are a lazy fisherman like me, just uh, drop a circle hook and the fish will hook themselves. And the fish will literally put the hook in their mouth and hook themselves up. If you are going for those, uh, if you are just sitting down there looking at the rod, because what I like to do is I like to drop a uh, double paranoster and then just leave it there. And then I'll go casting. Okay, when I see the rod bend, I'll just take my time, reel back in my lure and then get my rod. Because circle hooks, they, uh, the fishes hook themselves. But for normal octopus hooks, uh, J hooks, you have to strike the fish. So if you are doing... Mm, just leaving there, leaving at the bottom, just use circle hooks. So this is my setup for Desaru and I'll be going Desaru in February if the if the virus thing clears off and the customs is not so jammed, I'll probably head out uh, in February. So if you are planning to go to Desaru, yeah, just remember that these are the things that we can bring to catch everything there. Yep, in, you don't need actually so much. Yeah, you can only bring one pintail, you can only bring one jig, you can bring a couple of hooks, yeah. But okay, so this is my setup. Then if you want if you want more tips and hints, just leave me in a com leave me a comment and I will uh, read the comments and try to reply to you. If you want uh, to follow us on the trip and if you are around in Singapore or making your way there in February, just leave me a comment. I will see if there's a spot there and I can I can just probably uh, you know we can go together. So yeah, if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to Big and Hook and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.